hi everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is another review another skincare review and uh, as you know by the title today i'm going to review uh, a moisturizer from nevia which is nevia soft cream i have two different sizes of uh, this cream which is like one in the tube and one i bought like i bought two jars of this one it was in a promotion Nivea is not a new brand. It has been in the market since years and years and it is one of the trusted skincare brands. There are different variations like there are different uh, types of moisturizer which uh, they have released and one of the oldest and I will say like most popular one is the blue tin which is a very thick moisturizer which I think is suitable uh, for like winter months, like very freezing and cold uh, days. Navia Soft is also one of their moisturizers and it is one of my favorites. Uh, this is not a review I'm doing based over a week or over a month. I have been using this moisturizer now from last two years on and off because um, I do different reviews on my channel so I do try different things so this moisturizer you can use on your face body and on your hands even it is a very very light moisturizer it feels really refreshing as like it is mentioned and claimed on the tube it is refreshingly soft moisturizing cream with jojoba oil and vitamin e my skin type is uh, sensitive and dry and uh, before like discovering this moisturizer i always used to buy uh, moisturizers and creams from l'oreal they're like sometimes they are revitalizing sometimes there are so many different creams uh, and moisturizers they also have so i used to buy from l'oreal sometimes they're night and day creams and so on but after trying this after discovering this uh, nevia soft moisturizer i have never gone back to those uh, l'oreal ones so how to use this moisturizer i use this moisturizer during the day in the night uh, under my makeup even and uh, when i'm going out like in the sun i will uh, use this moisturizer and on top of it i will use a sunblock because uh, it is so refreshing i don't think like i feel mm, greasy like going out with this uh, but in the sun i would recommend not to go only with this always always use a good sunscreen uh, which is for me the very first step if you are concerned about your skin you should have you should have to have a good uh, sunscreen if we talk about the ingredients uh, the first the very first two ingredients are aqua and glycerin I will uh, try to insert a clip of uh, a picture if I can take and insert in this video of all the ingredients which are mentioned on this tube. I really wanted to make it clear and transparent that there are ingredients in this cream which are gomorogenic. This cream does have fragrance though the fragrance is not very strong. It is really mild. For me it's really refreshing. I do love it so give it a try it's not in like a very expensive moisturizer if you are on a budget even though i know all these ingredients are present in this cream i really 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 enjoy this uh, moisturizer and i have not stopped using it so i will just uh, take out a small quantity on my hand just to show you the consistency when i use it on my face i feel really refreshing my skin feel my skin feels refreshed it's really lightweight it's not greasy at all and it absorbs 
quickly in the skin as you can see there is no greasiness or like stickiness so it's really comfortable on the skin even in the summer when the weather is really hot and humid i uh, am really comfortable with this moisturizer and if i have to rate this product like out of five i would give it a four uh why not five because of the ingredients but i've seen any breakouts or any irritation or any redness or itchiness after using it it's really for me it's really soothing to be honest for oily skin people i'm really not sure how it's going to work but i feel it's a very light and soft moisturizer so i don't think that it should clog pores and it should create acne but uh, there are ingredients in this uh, cream which are comedogenic so you have to be really careful while making the choice of whether to include it in your skincare routine as a moisturizer or not but for me as a dry skin person dry skin and sensitive skin person i really enjoy it uh, it's really soothing on my skin i feel really comfortable it's really refreshing it absorbs very quickly as uh, if i compare this with the blue the old the tin uh, the tin nivea the tin moisturizer the thick one it is not uh, like that at all that is really greasy that is really thick in the end i would say this is a very inexpensive and affordable moisturizer and most of us cannot uh, afford uh, those high and expensive creams so give it a try just see uh, how it uh, reacts or performs on your skin if it suits you you will like never gonna leave it out of your skincare i am sure about it so i will wrap up this review over here if you have any questions regarding this review regarding this product you can ask me in the comments down below and i would be happy to answer all your questions so till my next video take very good care of yourselves and be safe bye